Ottawa United Consultative Forum has asked the Ogun State Governor, Dr. Abiodun, to resign for what it called his failure to secure and protect the people in his states. The group went further to condemn the activities of Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Ibuho, for allegedly destroying Fulani headsmen settlements in the state earlier in the week. This was contained in a statement issued by the Arewa United Consultative Forum National President Al Haji Shraibu Dansudu in Lagos on Thursday. The group said Governor Abiodun remains the chief security officer of the state, but it is disappointing that he could not secure his state and had to invite someone from Oyo State to come and do the job for him. We therefore call on the governor to resign his position since it appears he is not capable of functioning in that capacity. If he fails to resign, the federal government should withdraw his security apparatus. Concerning Ibuho, the Arewa group described him as a fake activist, saying that genuine activists don't take the law into their own hands by attacking defenseless persons. The group admitted that there might be some criminal elements among the Fulanis, just like any other tribe, but insisted that not all Fulani people could be regarded as lawless. It said some lawful Fulani people are also victims of the killer headsmen, adding that some politicians are using the Fulani headsmen criminal activities as antics to destroy the country's unity. If Sunday Igboho can arrest and even kill the real criminal headsmen, we won't complain. We might even invite him to the north to help us fight the criminals and bandits, the group said. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? The Arawa group are saying that Sunday Iboho is a fake activist. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular opinion of the Arewa group? Is um, Sunday Iboho truly a fake activist? Is Sunday Iboho capable of um, fighting the criminals as it, as it were? Well, it is what it is. The Arewa group also asked the governor of Ogun State to resign for failing to protect the Fulanis in the state. Well, the job of the governor is not only to protect the Fulanis, but to protect the citizens of his states. And uh, to a very large extent, if the Fulani headsmen have suffered in one capacity or the other, they, know, they should know what to do. And um, why are they not following the law, as it were, but calling for the governor's resignation? Well, it is what it is. You know, these Arewa people are trying to um, paint a picture and uh, speak for themselves and uh, protect their people in the heat of the crisis that has rocked the country, which is occasioned and caused by the activities of the Fulani headsmen in the country. The Fulani headsmen have been accused severally of so much uh, atrocities like kidnapping, armed robbery, raping, and so many other evil vices that they have been perpetrating and committing in the region. This is no longer acceptable by the people of the community and they have decided to speak out. And uh, the Arewa Consultative Forum, as it were, or the Arewa Group, are expecting that the governor would focus attention on their people to protect them. Of course, they are not the only ones in the community or in the state. When they attack people, they do not call on the governor 
to resign because he fails to uh, uh, protect the people that they, the Fulani headsmen, attacked. But they are calling on the governor to resign because uh, their, their core Fulani men were actually chased out of the town and were dealt with because they failed to carry out uh, the instructions and the ultimatum that were given to them by Sunday Ibuho. But be that as it were, that is medicine after death. They can cry all they can or all they will, you know, but the situation of things remains the same because there is nothing the governor can do for them in this stead. The Adewa Consultative Forum and the, the Fulani, the Miyeti Allah, and all northern groups would have to, you know, draw the attention of the Fulani headsmen and call them to order to avoid more cases of what is happening and going on in the country. If not, there's going to be serious challenges. Because the citizens are already beginning to take responsibility for their security and uh, for the protection of their properties. Since the federal government does not seem to have a solution to all the challenges that has uh, hit the people. But it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, do you think that um, the governor would have left his own duty or left his people to protect the Fulanese in the states, probably because they are citizens? Or do you think that he would have arrested Sunday Igbuho uh, or chased Sunday Igbuho out of the state because he came to um, help the people of some communities that are suffering and uh, being endangered by this Fulani headsman? Well, of course, you cannot take such a step. You know, any governor, every governor as it were today, to a very large extent, if, you know, consulted or if uh, asked, would want to have a more Sunday Buhos in their state because of the evil that the Fulani headsmen are perpetrating. Those that do not have the privilege of getting to invite Sunday Igboho, if they do, they probably would invite Sunday Igboho to their state. Or if they have somebody, people that could rise up like Sunday Igboho, they probably would encourage such people to rise up as their hands are tied with the constitution and they cannot do some of the things that they probably would want to do. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular history as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.